you know uh, i think this time this entire visits or engagement with public has been maybe publicized because of the media has found its voice but i think even as a goc commander and uh, i have seen young company commanders engaging with people very very intimately uh, the what is doing that these uh, interactions were never just because uh, the media has been able to speak out quite openly and talk of progressive voices that you have been able to write about it and talk about it and you imagine in case similar thing was done 5 years back again you would have not been I don't think so that one has done something very uh, different. I have just continued to do what my predecessors have done in Kashmir Valley. So many young company commanders, CEOs and commanders are doing. So many soldiers are doing along with the people of Kashmir because frankly, Rashtri Rifle here, which is in the valley, or our uh, Indian Army forces which are deployed on the LC, they are intimate uh, part of the Kashmiri society because we live together here. And therefore, we are also responsible to ensure that whatever trouble and trivials come to us or to them, we go through those uh, problems together. So there has been a uh, problem for some time, and we have been going through this uh, issues together. Of course, time does not change. Uh, Mr. Pandey, in your tenure, what are the achievements of 15 core vis-a-vis -vis situation? Then I see the DP officer talks about no Pakistan survival. What makes you think that? You know, firstly, uh, the DP is uh, actually uh, speaks about me or anybody who is a soldier that when we do anything, when we perform, when we are carrying out our actions and duties, we do it for our country, we do it for our people. And therefore, whatever we do, we don't have to have any remorse or any regret about it. So that's uh, what defines me or any soldier in uniform. Well, uh, my achievement. Uh, for last one year, if I have to put it out, is one, is that in last about a year plus, more than 200, 250 youth who were possibly on the cusp of becoming a terrorist, and majority of them who had become terrorists, have in some form or other brought back to the society. That's my achievement. And uh, rest, everybody achieves in terms of operation then, in terms of... Uh, actions in the valley and such like things, I don't think that's very important to me and uh, important to our army or Rashtri Rifle today for us to ensure that not a woman, <coughs> mother, daughter, wife has to cry for a loss which is happening because somebody has become a terrorist was important. I had come up with a philosophy of breaking the cycle of violence in which on one side we kept on neutralizing terrorists including killing or taking surrenders or apprehensions. And on the second side, we wanted to reduce the number of terrorist uh, youth picking up arms. And I think we have done well on both the, both the levels. Most importantly, what transition has taken place that today, Jammu and Kashmir police, instead of going on to the tech realm for intelligence, is getting so much of a human intelligence that people don't want terrorists to come out and stay in the houses. They are not wanting to be openly called as terrorist support, uh, uh, terrorist supporters. There are places where even the supporters of terrorists or so-called OGWs are being subjected to, you know, are being isolated. There's a change which is happening. I think that's a major thing which has happened here and I'm very happy for uh, these changes.